What's up, weirdos? Do you guys have a bunch of Thanksgiving leftovers? I don't know what to do with them. Well, we've got an idea. We do have an idea. What is it? Well, obviously, we're going to do Thanksgiving leftover waffles. You follow that? Oh, look at it. See how there's not that much? Because we're using leftovers instead of creating them. Legit, legit. Watch, let me turn this around. Actual stuffing. Mm -hmm. Mash your potatoes. Yep. And I don't think that's leftover cheese or whatever that stuff no, is. No, this is just other some stuff. extra. You know, you need some binding agents in there so it'll actually stick. Totally. Yeah. Well, let's make it happen. I'm gonna do the potatoes first. Okay. So these are mashed potatoes we had for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. They were delicious too. Leftover. Mm -hmm. My brother likes his skins on, so mm -hmm. skins are always on in the mashed potatoes. Yes, ma'am. Oh, let us know in the comments how you like your mashed potatoes. In the down belows? Yeah, in the down belows. <laughs> So first things first, you gotta add some flour and eggs. So I guess probably just to kind of seal it. Make a binding agent for it. Yeah. Okay. So Let's we're gonna do, do that. I'm gonna add some flour and two eggs. I don't know. They were not twin eggs. They were two separate eggs. Yeah. Oop. Ooh, and next. Mixing. And one mixing. Interesting. Is it making it thicker? It, yeah, well, yeah, I think so. It feels a little different, but it's like, it's like, wetter but thicker. <laughs> what kind of show is this? I am so sorry. I feel like we just went into the danger zone. I realized as soon as I said that how it sounded. Okay, and then we're gonna add these to some cheese and some green onions. This kind of reminds me of like the hash browns. Mm -hmm. A little bit, yeah. Makes sense. And that is the batter. That's it. Not bad. The stuffing one's even easier. I just have to throw the eggs in there. Well, let's see how it goes. Yeah. Let's do it. We'll just fix them at the same time. I may have to pass them. No, yeah, I'll try. No, you don't have to. I'm not a That's why I'm making one of each. Yeah. You can have the mashed potato one. I can have the stuffing one. That looks gross. Mmm, <laughs> not yummy. That's the batter. And that one looks pretty good, though. All right, we'll do this one first because I good. think this one's gonna. <laughs> not good. Good. <laughs> I wonder if this is like exactly half a cup because every time it says to do waffles, it's like half a cup into your waffle maker. And I'm like, this must be like half a cup. Probably. Pre-measured. Like Can somebody from Cuisinart let us know since that came with our Cuisinart? Yeah, like how much? Well, I guess I could actually measure half a cup and then just throw it in there and see if it, right. that's what it is. But... Spread it. Well, actually, it's like I need more. Because I don't think that's going to expand out. That makes sense. But we'll see. I don't know. Let's try that. Ooh. Pancakes. Ooh. You smell that? No, but I'm a little stuffy today. Dang, it like is cooking it right away. Nice. Mmm. That's just going to have to come up. So it definitely has to go longer, I think. Yeah, for sure. So what do you think? You think just the, the, the length of time is what we need? Probably. Yeah. Because this this side over here looks pretty like it's getting pretty good, but then it has to cook further through. I think it's still, yeah. Like, I don't even know that I could get this out right now. Yeah. No, we'll find out. What happened? Why are you so blushy? <laughs> I'm going to just take this. We're, we're going to mulligan this one. It's going in the bin? Well, I mean, you could try to taste it if you want. I like to try to taste it. Yeah. I just, because it's like coming out, I don't know, I think we just need it a little bit longer, that's all. It just split, I think once it split, it was done. Yeah. We'll plate it and try it again. You're such a waffler. In my waffle germs. You know, you can never make it make your mind up. You're such a waffler. Yeah. You know who else is a waffler? Me. Hey, <laughs> oh, that was way back yeah. then. 
I'm the waffler. Good, that was a good old reference. If anyone hears that, they're like, I don't know what that means. Round two. Yep. So, fight. Um, what did we learn? We learned that we should try to maybe lower it, lower the heat, and do it just for longer. Because as you can see, we're starting to get the outside real crispy, right here, but the yeah. inside is still kind of yep. mushy. Yeah, it's, st it's still soft yeah. right there. So but, we're gonna try to do it a little bit slower to see if that helps. Okay. Hopefully we don't need a second mulligan because I don't know what that means. Be the first time. First time for a second mulligan. All right, go for it. It's going in. We're just gonna leave alone now. Looks like you're getting a steam facial. It's right in front. I don't know that I would want a mashed potato facial. I feel like that might defeat the purpose of a facial. Hey, hey buddy. You in our live studio audience? <laughs> I think you are. Get it? See what I did there? Studio. All right. This is the longest waffle cook ever. Oh, realsies. But we did cook it lower though. We did. So maybe, ah. It's just fun. <laughs> Need a little extra gravity in there. Oh yes! <gasps> Ooh. Very nice. It's gonna help with the lifting. See, I need you to help yeah. sometimes. You can't just be me all the time. Right? Ta da! To dissolve. I think a little ketchup with that would be great. Because mm -hmm. it's like still hash brownie. Yeah. Hi! Hello. So I'm gonna try this one, which is the mashed potatoes. Yeah. And if you haven't seen yet, I put some turkey on there and Heather makes this homemade cranberry sauce, which is to die for. So now I got Thanksgiving waffle on a plate. Well, <clears> and uh, I, can't, I can't take credit for the delicious cranberry sauce. It's actually on a website, Peas and Crams is the website that I've used that recipe forever. It's delicious. She still made it. Yeah, but. So my story is, Heather makes this cranberry <laughs> sauce, which is to die for. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's dig in. So with me, I like to, I like to dig the, put the cranberry sauce through everything. So I put the cranberry sauce and turkey on there, mm. mashed potatoes. Yep. I also want to do it for Thanksgiving next year. <laughs> Waffle yeah. Thanksgiving. New Thanksgiving tradition. Mashed potato waffles. Probably gonna take all day. Right. Just to do the mashed potato waffles. But. Yeah, because they, it takes at least 10 minutes, I'd say. Yeah. I think. The line of waffle makers. Mm. Ooh, ooh. You should come over here so they can see you. Well, because I'm also making the, the last uh, mashed potato waffle. Because mm -hmm. you don't want to waste mashed potatoes. No, because they're mashed potatoes. Delicious. But there's like raw egg in it to make the batter, mm -hmm. so I did, obviously I wanted to. Then we'll do the stuffing one. Stuffing is next. That's for me. She'll review that because me. Mm. I like stuffing. I do like it. It's it's the the crispiness on the outside of the waffle is great. And that's just because it was cooking the outside longest. It has like a nice little browning on it. You can kind of see there. Mm. That looks great. And the inside is still kind of like light and fluffy still. Mm. Can you try a bite? Yeah? Sure. Yeah, let me get this one because I... Mm. You hear that crunch? Mm -hmm. Hopefully they could hear that. Mmm, that's fun. Yeah. No, that's cool. Yeah. I like that. So this is my lunch today. <laughs> that's a win. Yay! I'm nervous about this one. Are you? Yes. Why is that? I don't know. I guess because if it's bad, it's going to probably be 
bad. Because <laughs> of the stuffing? Yeah, they're like, because it's like bread, you know, so if it doesn't crisp up, it's going to be gross and mushy. Yeah. It looks like ground beef right now. It does look good on ground beefy. To be ground beefy? No, I'm like, maybe I shouldn't have done this challenge. I have to put this on by myself. Right? Alrighty. Ooh. Oh. Wow, interesting. It totally looks like ground beef, right? <laughs> it is definitely something. It's tripping me out. I'm a little afraid to eat it. <laughs> Gravy and stuffing. For those of you that don't like gravy, like my husband, that probably made you even more disgusted by talking about turkey juices. <laughs> For those that like gravy, it's really good. Well. It's first of all, it's a little crunchy, but then still soft on the inside. All right. Mm. Good stuff? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Because this is also kind of like my mom's stuffing recipe. So for me, Mm, this is really good because most of the time, you know, you cook stuffing inside of the bird, so it's almost never crispy. It's gonna be mushy, which is yeah. partly why I, you don't like it, right. the texture. So this actually kind of allows it to be crunchy, but then it's still it's still really like soft on the inside, but you get a nice crunch around everything. It's good. I like it this way. Hey, you hear that? Crispiness on the outside? Mm -hmm. Tap on that again. Definitely not soggy. Uh uh. No soggy bottoms here. Oh, Hollywood, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't think you guys can hear, but you can hear. There's definitely a crunch when I bite into mm -hmm. it. I can hear it from right here. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Even when you dig into it with your fork, you can hear it crackling and crunching, mm -hmm. but then it looks like there's still some. Like you said, softness to it on the inside. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but like inside is like got still that stuffing, but not as wet, which which I appreciate. Mm -hmm. It was like that that nice crispness. Like if if for those of you that like cook your stuffing in a pan instead of in the bird, you probably get that nice crisp on the top. This is kind of reminds me of that. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. But yeah, no, this is a fun way to almost reheat your food if you wanted yeah. to reheat it. But we're going to throw away those leftovers. Yeah, and at the same time, you're changing the texture a little bit. So if leftovers aren't your thing and you don't want like the mushy stuffing, you can just throw it in a freaking waffle iron and you get that crispiness. It's really cool. Oh. So, not a fail on this one either. No, yeah, I like this. Took a little experimenting. We had to figure mm -hmm. out the time and everything on, on, on the mashed hair one. Yeah, this one went great. I think once, once we figured it out, it worked out great. I think so. Yeah. So? So yeah, you know, will it waffle? It will. <laughs> Try it um, at home, and our recommendation would be to cook it lower and slow. We cooked it kind of on a medium setting yeah, like for a right longer time so it could get that middle part. But let us know how it works out for you, and if you come up with any other creations that you can waffle for your Thanksgiving dinners or your leftovers. Yeah, if you, if you tried to waffle like the turkey. Yeah. Or, I don't know, the cranberry sauce. Let us know. Like, that could be something. Yeah. And we, try it, but... We'd like to see what you guys come up with, too, so... Yeah. Till next time, keep it weird. Bye, weirdos. <laughs> it's so gross. What, what's gross? The noises she makes. When the dog makes it? Yeah. What do they look like? She, like, she'll lick stuff, and she just is like... <laughs> <laughs> like, just... <laughs> How dare you lie to me, Waffle?